Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming on to do my entry for my Crafty Stampy Club Facebook group weekly sketch. We're on week 24 um, and the blog is due to be written now and I'm the one that's not done my entry yet. I've been just so busy with one thing and another. So what we're doing is um, I'm using Very Vanilla and the sketch of the card was to use... Um, two opposites on the front. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of DSP um, in opposite directions kind of thing. I'm using the lovely Mosaic Mood. So I am making a card with those two contrasted pieces of um, DSP. Um, what I'd like to do as well is um, emboss a sentiment on the front. And... Um, my other card that I've made, um, I can't show you the now because it's not due to go up until um, Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, um, as part of the Global Video Hop collaboration that I'm involved in. Um, but it is kind of similar. It's using the same DSP and there is the same kind of uh, sentiments and stuff. But this one, um, so the other card's for um, one of my team. This one's for another member. Uh, of my Team Smithy, what a dazzling demonstrator. Um, and I have a few more to make for the rest of my team. However, I will be doing that in a, a different theme um, to the Mosaic Mood. So two of these cards are Mosaic Mood for my team. Right, so all I want to do is, this is a 4 by 6 card, okay? Um, and I have cut, I cut two pieces of DSP down to, hang on, I'm just trying to get this dry bit out of this glue. I cut two pieces down to um, three and seven eighths by, oh, sorry, here my dog. She's um, falling asleep and she likes to um, grumble like a little old man. Um, I've cut two pieces at measure, an eighth of an inch shorter than the actual card. So that'll be three and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. Okay, now, I need to make sure my card's the right way. Okay. And I am simply going to press that on, giving it the little length of an inch border. Okay. And this one is going to go on here, like so. And I think that's not too bad um, for eyeballing it up. Okay, so... I am still on a mission to reach a thousand subscribers by Christmas. We only have three and a bit weeks to go. Um, please, please share my channel. Um, I'll be forever eternally grateful to y'all. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you that come over here to watch my tutorials. I hope I'm sharing some inspiration with you. Um, right, so what I'm also doing is I have a piece of gold foil card which is going to be the bottom layer of my sentiment. I am then going to mat it up with a, another piece of this. Okay, that was a little two inch strip, so I've cut that down. And then I have very vanilla for in the middle. Okay, now, can't remember what these measure. So I get my big mouse of the ruler out. Look at this, 18 inch ruler. So the first layer is four by two. Second layer is three and three quarters by one and three quarters. And then we've got three and a half by about one and just under one and a half. So I pretty much eyeballed these and just kept cutting them and cutting them on my little trimmer. Okay, now I'm going to sugar this a little bit to zoom in slightly. Um, I hope the picture quality stays okay. Oh, look, I've got big hands. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> right, anyway, what I want to do is I want to emboss this, okay? And I want to emboss what a dazzling demonstrator. Now, this is um, a demo-only available product, the stamp set, stamping your way to the top. Um, and this is absolutely fantastic for cheerleading my team members, sending them cards and stuff. Um, I like this one especially, handmade by your biggest cheerleader. I do love it, I do love it. So, let's get started. Now I have a piece of scrap paper here. 
I have my embossing buddy at the ready, like so. Okay, so I've embossed all that. That'll get rid of any static. Um, I want to stamp that on here, and I also want to stamp some other things on there. Maybe little stars. I'm just having a quick look at my other stamp sets um, to see what there is. And I may use... Yeah, oops, whoops, 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 whoops. I may use um, these little trio of hearts from one of our beginner stamp sets. This is Celebrate With Cake. I think that's what we'll do. It's quite a, quite a nice size. Right. So, let's get started. So, I have my Versamark here. Okay, and I'm going to emboss in gold to match with my gold foil. And my embossing powder is here. So this is gold and it's absolutely lovely. Right, so let's be having you. We're, I need another block to put my little um, hearts on. Quite a big block, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this slightly to the right. Okay, can you see that all right? And then these trio of hearts, I'm going to stamp to the left. Okay, now, I always close that and get it out of the way first, okay? I don't trust myself to um, not get it everywhere. Right, so I'm just going to add the embossing powder now. Look at that. Adorable. Now there is a little, tiny little bit there. Must have been a bit of extra glue on my stamp, but you know what, that's okay. Quite happy with that. So I'll pop that at the side in a minute. I'll need to um, heat up my heat tool, uh, seal this up, pop it away. So I'll just quickly heat that up, move all that out the road, and then we'll watch the magic happen. So, now this isn't a Stampin' Up! one. I don't actually um, have a Stampin' Up! one yet. But it is on my list. And if you want, you could use tweezers to hold this because it will get a bit... Um, can get a bit hot. So, let's see. Watch the magic happen. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. And watch the hearts. Wow. How awesome! Just give it a little heat underneath to straighten it out again. It doesn't do it fully, but it does help. What a dazzling demonstrator. I do like that. I do like that. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to um, build all of this up. Okay, now what I will do is I'm going to use, let me get rid of some of that dust. I'm going to use my snail adhesive to attach the DSP to my foil because both of these are speciality papers and I want a quick fix in terms of adhering it together. Um, if I use my wet glue, it will take a little bit longer to dry, so. Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay. This is then going to go in there with the snail adhesive also. Since I've got it out, if I can actually get it the right way, what am I doing? <laughs> you can tell I'm still not used to using this. Oh, what a silly sausage. Right, okay. I'm just going to pop that right in the middle as best as I can see. This piece, however, I am going to attach with dimensions. Now, if you have the um, foam adhesive strips, those could be used as well. They're a lot quicker than using these. Right, where's my tweezers? Oh dear. So wet and miserable in Scotland just now. So miserable. Now, I've already sent out my customer um, 
Christmas cards, which is awesome. And I'm just sending some New Year motivational cards to my team now, which is fab. So, come here quickly. Sorry, my son's wanting me for a wee second. What is it, darling? I'm just looking there and there's a fish and stuff. Oh, go get another one. I'll put that in the bin. I'm going to get an apple. Okay, darling. Sorry, my wee boys. I had a fight with a banana. I couldn't open it and it's went all squishy now. So it's in the bin. Right, now, what I've done is I have fussy cut a couple of little um, butterflies off of this DSP, it was off a scrap piece and I'm simply going to attach them attach them to um, the card as well just to give it a little bit more dimension shut the door behind you sweetie mind turn that light out they're forever leaving the lights on and he's just um, completely not heard me <laughs> never mind I'll turn it out later okay so I think I'll pop that other one up here I think this side's um, nice enough as it is. Ah, I'll put it down there actually. I really do like in make, making things for um, my team. I think it's special to um, remind them how great they are. And there we go, what a dazzling demonstrator. Right, I'm going to flip that over because I want to use another one of my stamps from this um, Team Leader stamp set, stamping your way all to the top, and that is Handmade by Your Biggest Cheerleader. Now, I'm not sure what colour I should use. I think I'll use Garden Green. Yeah, let me use Garden Green on the back. I haven't, I haven't used this in a while. And all I want to do is I'm just going to open it up actually so that it's flush. I'm just going to stamp that there. Do like that. Da, 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 da. I'm going to pop this away. And that is my challenge entry for the Crafty Stamping Club. I'll put a description, um, well there will be a description a link to the um, Facebook group. Everyone's welcome to join. Um, even if you're sitting back, just watch in. It doesn't matter um, as long as you get some... As long as you try and interact a little bit um, by liking other people's posts and things. Um, and then when you feel confident enough, you could always join in on our challenges. So, there is my card for the sketch. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like what you see, that is. Um, but have a nice evening, okay? Thanks again, guys. Bye.